history is made at the University of Texas at Austin. On the field and in the classroom. Life moves fast at UT. A 21st century education requires a demanding pace and facilities that can keep up, inside and out. But a majority of the buildings on the original 40-acre campus are more than 70 years old. Think of the number of generations of students that have been through this place and formed almost a physical attachment to their environment. See you later, Chad. Steve Crail oversees the Office of Campus Planning and Facilities Management. I mean, you want to maintain the connections that people establish with the place. You want to make effective economic use out of the, uh, the buildings themselves. We're really very blessed with the quality of construction that was done during that time period. But time is an enemy to even the best built facilities, and the buildings that house the intellectual horsepower on campus need help to stand the test of time. Even icons like the UT Tower are not immune to the hands of time. This building was built in 1934, and uh, air conditioning was installed in the building in the early to mid 60s. We got a 45 year old air handling unit that uh, is uh, past its lifespan. It's worn out infrastructure that's no longer able to do its job. We occupy a huge portion of the tower and the north side is miserable. Mark Hayward is the director of the Population Research Center. Most of us have fans in our offices. About mid-afternoon on a summer day it feels like about 85 or 90 degrees in the offices. Summertime I spent five hours a day here. We would sweat just sitting at our desk uh, doing our everyday tasks. The air handling unit is just on the other side of this blue room. The solution and seems simple enough. So the time has come to uh, change this unit out. Get the old air conditioning system out and the new one in. But there are challenges. The current air handler is the size of a room. It's located 29 stories up and it's stuck behind a historic stone wall. It'll all need to come out of here. Part of the tower has to be dismantled to create an opening for the new air handler. Then it has to be put back together as if no one had ever been there. And all of this work must be done while the tower is still occupied. After a year of careful planning and more than a thousand hours of engineering effort, design documents emerge. That level up there is where the actual coals will be for the new unit. The new air handler will be built on two levels around the existing unit that must be kept in operation during most of the project. After bids are analyzed, the university hires Flintco to be the general contractor. And by early July, the construction team is ready to start the eight-month project. Okay, ready? Site prep includes closing the observation deck to the public, removing lights on the north face of the tower, and disconnecting the clock. We're on the 20, tower level 29 is the observation deck level, and this is where the majority of the work will happen. The construction team has to cut out these decorative limestone blocks and move them to a platform where a crane lowers each one to the ground. The first one is always the, the challenge one. As the stone blocks come down, a wooden cover is going up to protect the north clock face. Okay, hold that. Wow. Come on. While this is happening outside, workers are building the steel platform inside that will support the new air handler. The air handler is moved in pieces through the opening and assembled inside the tower like a ship in a bottle. It's pretty exciting to uh, see uh, how far we've come. We've still got a ways to go. Four months later, tower level 29 is completely transformed and the new air handler is taking shape. But the trickiest part still lies ahead. The construction team has just a few short weeks to tear out the old air handler and get the new one connected before students and staff return from the winter break. After more than four decades, the old system is turned off for good. And it's all hands on deck to get the new air handler online. Watch your fingers. 
from sun up to sun down, the team works to get all the pieces in place and connected. Our fan will be directly below us and aimed upward and a, and a duct will be rising up, you know, where that hatch is and then it'll turn and go right into the side of the unit. The 24-hour shifts continue until Christmas Eve when an old tradition makes a comeback. Today was uh, just another work day for us. This was still a top priority for us to make sure we could get him up to the top to play the bells. And by the time students and staff return in January, the new air handler is up and running with new energy-saving automation. Just in time for ice and Austin's first snow in years. After several more Did weeks of finishing and fine-tuning the new air handling system, the project is completed. That, that's great. The total cost for this project comes to $2.1 million. Renewal projects may seem expensive, but they save the university time and money in the long run. And much cheaper to do it in advance than wait for it to fail. Much more expensive to do these things uh, in a time pressured environment. Crail's department estimates about 70% of the buildings on campus need upgrades to their AC systems. You know, it's an ongoing effort for us to uh, keep this campus running. We do have a plan now over the next uh, five years, a pretty firm plan. We're going to replace the uh, units in Parlin, Calhoun, Homer Annie Hall, Wagner, the communications building. But the UT Tower can be crossed off that list. It has a new lease on life, and tower staff can feel the difference. We've had some pretty toasty days, and on this side of the building, before the AC was done, it was hot in these rooms. And now I can tell you it's quite comfortable in these rooms. We had a great uh, group of professionals who uh, just did their job. Every day came, came in and uh, did their job well. And that team worked together to produce a project that uh, it would be tough to duplicate. Inside the tower, the AC system is restored and ready for the future. And on a campus where history is made, those outside are preparing for their future.